<laughs> Almost everybody's heard of V8, right? Mm -hmm. And that's that's a classic drink. Now, what do you think is better, the V8 we're going to make or the V8 you get in the store? Mm -hmm. How long has that stuff been sitting on the shelf? Was it cooked before they put it in there? Yeah, they did because it, they don't want it to rancidify or something like that. So they're going to cook that, which means what? The enzymes are dead, mm -hmm. no enzyme activity in there. Um, a lot of the vitamins are inactivated there. Um, it's going to change the glycemic index when you cook it. Um, it's going to sit on a shelf for how long before you drink that. Whereas if you're taking a live stuff and it's like you pop that baby out of the ground, put it in here, get down the hatch, then you should be in good shape. Did they, did they find tomatoes there? I feel like there's some stuff missing from my, from my list here. Um, I don't even have V8 without the tomatoes. You can't. Well, you can. It's just going to be V7. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anybody can. You want to look at the frequency? Is there any chance that that's in there? Okay, so what do we got here? Two large tomatoes, say half a beet. Um, now, you can juice the beet greens. Beet greens are pretty pungent. I'm going to leave some of those out here. Um, and we're just going to put this baby down in the hatch here. Um, usually, oh, we do have a peeler. I'll peel this for you guys. I want it to be nice and sweet. I don't want anybody saying I gave him some yucky stuff there. Okay. Let's peel this. Um, I don't do beets a ton myself, um, but beets are obviously a, a nutritious thing and they're good. So if you get a, a good peeler, the skin is the bitter part for these root vegetables. So if you're doing carrots or you're doing beets or you're doing turnips or parsnips, all stuff I've done. You want to take the peel off, the taste will be a little bit more mild for you. If you're doing it for your kids, get them off the hook, peel it a little bit. But the peel's not bad for you. In fact, if you grow your own stuff, this might sound goofy to some of you, but um, I wouldn't even really rinse the stuff very much because most of the most of the vitamin the where we get vitamin B12 in our diet is actually from bacteria that live in the ground. And most people would say, well, no, you need meat. That's why vegetarians need to take B12. No, the only reason it's in their meat is because that animal, let's say a cow, has eaten the grass with a bunch of dirt on it and there's a bunch of bacteria on there and now that's where it gets its B12 from, from the bacteria. So if you have a good healthy soil and you're not spraying pesticides and stuff in there, um, I, I, don't, I wouldn't even overly rinse stuff. I'd get some of that stuff in there. Now, some of you might say, now there's dirt on there, you got to get it off. You can't have any speck of dirt, but um, I, I wouldn't worry too much about that. All right, so we got beet, we got, let's do two celeries here. And then we have some watercress here. Some two carrots. Well, I apologize if we don't have tomatoes. I know tomatoes were on the list. They might have gotten. Uh, that somebody forgot to buy them there, which is okay because the uh, don't worry, I'm not bleeding, it's just beet. <laughs> um, obviously, the, the V8 you buy in the store is mostly tomato, right? It's bright red, um, and it's not as much of the other stuff. But I, I would focus on doing more of the green stuff. All right, so this is spinach that we're putting in here. Spinach that you actually pick with the stem should look you know, about like that. It's pretty good spinach there. I personally buy, remember spinach was on the dirty dozen list, all right? I buy organic spinach. Um, I usually get it from Sam's Club and they have big one pound containers of organic spinach. Um, so that, that's where I get it. I don't juice a ton of spinach. I eat a lot of spinach in salads, but okay. I don't want to steal your thumber, but there's no tomato on the list. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Tomato on here, let's go. Boy, you just put two more beets in there. That's good. Yeah. Be nice and red. <laughs> beets are very cleansing. You guys eat enough tomatoes anyway with pasta sauce and that stuff. You don't need any more tomatoes. <laughs> You know, whenever I, whenever I say juice in my brain, this is what I'm talking about, juice. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, when the rest of the world is talking about juice, they're not talking about juice as far as I'm concerned, right? Juice boxes, juice packets, juice on a shelf, and it's cooked. It's syrup. It's, it's not juice. It's not live. So 
So that's lettuce going in there right now. That's just a leaf lettuce. All right. You can do any type of lettuce you want. Red lettuce, green lettuce, whatever. This here is called, um, this is watercress. And uh, it's not that easy to find. I actually request Shop and Safe to, to carry this for me because you just don't find it. But it's an aquatic herb, so it's a very water rich herb. It's very juicy. You get a lot of water out of it. Um, it has a pretty mild flavor to it. And with, oh, by the way, with greens, and you'll pick this up here, um, with greens, you want to kind of get them in there and then you'll compact them a little bit harder than you will the other stuff. You'll get more juice out of it that way because you'll, if it, the leafy stuff, it'll kind of fling it out into the pulp thing if you don't compact it. So you want to compact it down and hold your pressure on with the green stuff when you juice it. And even if the motor goes a little bit slow when you do that, it's okay. It's, it's designed to do that. I take mine and pack them into like a ball before yeah. I stick them into it. Yeah. So I pack it up as tight as I can. Grab that, grab that parsley, open up the thing parsley there. Um, so is Shop and Safe carrying that water truck? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, that's where they got it today. And so with something like parsley, they say we're going to do a you know, half a bunch of parsley here. Um, so if I was doing that with the greens, I'd usually fold that in half to compact it. Then you can shove it down in there. And that way, then you can kind of compact down hard and hold that. And you may need to compact it a few times like that as you get lower. But you'll get more out of it doing that than putting a little bit at a, at a time or mixing it with other stuff. What else we got up there? We need uh, a bunch of fish. We got some yeah. carrots. Yeah. We do, do, we do the carrot? No, I didn't see the carrot. We do some carrot. Let's put a couple more carrots in there if we did. Since we're missing the uh, tomatoes. Alright, so V7. So apologize for that if I made a, made a goof on our shopping list there. It's on my recipe list here, but I gave a separate one from the shoppers. <laughs> Defend the shopper, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I double checked it. And there it I gotta work with the shopper tomorrow. You might watch the video. <laughs> let's do a uh, let's do a little bit more. Let's do another beat here. We need to get this up to a little closer to 32 ounces here. I'm not gonna do any greens because I need to take those home and get them. So I'm going to start calling up people to do some juice in here in a minute. Who wants to juice this beet? Do you want to juice the beet? You've, ne you've never juiced, right? Okay. You're juicing the beet. It's okay if you smile real big when you do it. I know you're trying to hold it in. But you're <laughs> Good what you do. Oh, okay. Alright. Drop that whole thing down in there. And then you get there you go. If it if it slows down like that, just let it pressure a little bit and then you can do it again. There you go. She's proud of it. Just leave it in there. It doesn't sit down against the blade, it sits higher than the blade, so it's okay, wow. just leave it in there, okay? Cool. <laughs> All right, we should be right around where we need to be on that. We need to stir it up at all. Yeah, we could do this. Do a little stirring here. With this. Mm -hmm. cups I have. Well, everybody needs to use the same cup. Yeah. All right. So we can. Uh, what's the best way to do this? We don't want to risk spilling. <laughs> so put it on the carpet. Okay, so pretend that it's red instead of purple. <laughs> pretend there's tomatoes in there. Use your imagination. Um, so you have a variety of stuff in there. You have some green stuff. You have some roots. You have some herbs. Um, it, it's, 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 a, it's a good general mix there. This will be the juicing spot. Take the beets out, put something on it. No, I didn't. I didn't put a salt. I don't know. Actually, they had that salt. We have salt. It's there. over there, but yeah. You can just put that in to taste. I don't actually put salt in it. But um, 
you know, people in our culture are afraid of salt, and, and that's because we use a lot of artificial salt and stuff like that. But if you're actually eating a healthy diet and you're not putting salt on stuff, you're gonna put a little salt to make it taste. Do you like that? Put it in there. Yeah. Yeah. The flavor they They're a little bit more bitter compared to some of the other greens. They're very healthy. I would do the same thing. So, but you can get a pretty taste. Juice from them, the way it comes out. So, you know, if you're going for taste, I would save them and maybe mix them with something else. Some apple or something like that, you know, and, and throw down the hatch. It's fine to do it by themselves, but um, <laughs> taste-wise, it's just going to affect the sweetness yeah, of it. So if I wanted spicy, yeah, yeah, I can use the sweet. Yep, yep, could do that. Yeah, so that one, you know, I, ideally, that might not have been the ideal recipe there, but you can you can replace stuff you like. That's a lot of beet. I don't like that much beet myself taste-wise. So um, you experimented. Congratulations. You tried something a little bit on the edge there taste-wise. But um, if you like tomatoes, you can use the tomatoes. Just a little bit of beet. You, know, you can do that type of stuff in there. We started with ginger. Yeah. Yeah. I would. Yeah. You definitely can do the carrot tops, and their flavor is. Yeah. Yeah. So if that's the way nature made it, you can do that. Most of the time in the store, they don't have the tops on them, but sometimes they do. Um, you're fine to. You know, you're fine to do that.